Welcome back to our podcast. We are Taipei Explorer from VIS Radio. I'm Arthur, and I'm your host for today's podcast. In today's episode, we will be talking about the most historical museum among Taiwan, which is the National Palace Museum. Let's get into it. So, before we dive into the museum itself, let's talk about how we can get there. The National Palace Museum is located in Shiling District in Taipei City, and there are several ways to get there. For example, the easiest way and the most convenient way is by taking the Taipei Metro. You can take the red line to Shiling Station. Then from there, choose to take a bus or a taxi to the museum. The bus ride is only a few minutes, and the taxis are very available outside the MRT station. And it's also the cheapest option that you can go. If you choose to take the bus, there are several routes that stop near the museum. You can take bus 255, 304, and R30 to the National Palace Museum. These buses run frequently throughout the whole day, and the ride is only a few minutes. And yeah. I personally recommend you guys for choosing this option because it's cheap and it's also convenient. So let's get into it. The National Palace Museum was established in 1925, but the collections date back much further than that. The collection began during the Tang Dynasty, which is year 618 to year 907 AD, and it grew over the centuries as various Chinese emperors and dynasties added to it. The collection was originally housed in the Forbidden City in Beijing, which was the seat of Chinese imperial power for centuries. However, during the Chinese Civil War, the government under Chiang Kai-shek fled to Taiwan and brought the collection with him. The journey from Beijing to Taiwan was a pretty dangerous one, and many of the artifacts were lost or damaged along the way. Despite these challenges, the National Palace Museum's collection survived and thrived in Taiwan. Today, the National Palace Museum is a home to over 700,000 pieces of art and cultural artifacts, including the jade carvings, calligraphy, and much more. The museum's collection is one of the largest and most significant in the world, and it attracts visitors from all over the world. The story of National Palace Museum is a testament to the reliance of Chinese culture and power of art to transcend political boundaries. The museum's collection has survived through wars, revolutions, and so much disasters, and it continues to inspire and educate people from all walks of life. The National Palace Museum is a symbol of China's rich cultural heritage, and it's also a reminder of the complex and often history of the region. By preserving and sharing its collection with the world, the museum is helping to keep the legacy of Chinese art. And the culture alive for future generations to carry on, on and on and on, and for us to appreciate and to enjoy this beautiful art piece and beautiful collection that our region has given to us. As you enter the museum, you are immediately struck by the elegance of the space. The museum's interior is just very impressive, with soaring ceilings and different kinds of art collections.、It、just shows the history of the Chinese culture. If you are visiting the museum. It is highly recommended to take a guided tour. The tour guides are knowledgeable, and they can provide you with insights into the history and significance of the museum's collection. Now, let's talk about some of the most notable exhibits in the National Palace Museum. One of the most famous one of the museum's collection is a jade cabbage with the insect. This piece is a carved jade cabbage that has a locust and a grasshopper hidden among its leaves. The piece is widely regarded as the masterpiece of Chinese art and a must-see for the visitors coming to the National Palace Museum. Another exhibit that shouldn't be missed is the Qing Dynasty court robes. The robes are incredibly intricate and feature a beautiful and colorful design. The court robes are a testament to the skills and craftsmanship of the Chinese artisans during this time period. One of the most fascinating things about the National Palace Museum. Is a story behind its collections. Many of the artifacts in the museums were originally part of the collections of the Forbidden City in Beijing. Of course, during the Chinese Civil War, the Nationalist government flew back to Taiwan and brought this collection with them. The story of how National Palace Museum came to be is one of intrigue and drama. The museum's collection was moved several times during the war, and many of the pieces were lost and damaged. A few years ago, I had this chance to visit the National Palace Museum with my friend, and it happened to be the 
Terracotta Warriors exhibit from the Qing Dynasty. It's really cool to see the story and the history behind these kind of artifacts and and even when we booked the tour guide, they gave us like a very detailed and specific introduction of the Terracotta Warriors. And yeah, it's just very interesting and I really like going to the National Palace Museum. Outside the museum, it has a very big garden and for kids and for people, for tourists to take pictures and to run and to have fun, chill and just like take pictures, especially when you're tourists and to like spend the time outside the garden. I would definitely recommend people to go to the National Palace Museum. It's because that you can learn so much stuff inside. It's not not just seeing a lot of like art pieces and collections. It's just like enriching your own life and like learning different kinds of cultures of the main Chinese culture, but still seeing the difference and seeing different dynasties and what they're doing. It's like that we're, we're seeing their production, seeing their collection and learning about their culture and is really fascinating for me. I also highly recommend you guys to go. That's it for our podcast today. And I'm Arthur, and we are the Taipei Explorer, and we will see you next time.